Hi, my name is Mike Manos. This video is how to properly set combustion on the FT Series residential product line. This video is intended for the licensed contractor. I've installed my combustion analyzer in the exhaust port and my manometer on the inlet gas side of our gas valve. If you're setting combustion on a propane unit, please check the very back of the air inlet boot. On some models, there may be a plug. Please remove. Before we get started, we're going to want to remove our test cap using a T15 Torx, and that's also going to be used to make your adjustment. It's important to check your gas pressure before the unit's fired, and also in low and high fire. With a call for heat or hot water, we're going to force the boiler into low and high fire losing the dip switches. Dip switch 7 to the on position for minimum fire, and dip switch 6 to the on position for high fire. After giving the boiler a call for heat, we got to force, force the boiler into high fire first. Boiler is fired. You can see our flame icon. I'm going to use dip switch number six. Put it into the on position to force the boiler into high fire. It's always important to be patient with your analyzer and let it get an accurate reading. Range for natural gas is eight and a half to ten and a half on the CO2. We are only taking a reading, not making any adjustments. All adjustments on this product will be made in low fire. While in health, high fire, using my manometer, I'm making sure the gas pressure didn't drop more than two inches. Now that we've checked our high fire CO2 and gas pressure, we're going to force the boiler into low fire to make an adjustment. Take dip switch six, put it back into the off position, put dip switch seven to the on position, and the boiler is going to modulate to low fire. Now the boiler is in low fire, I've given my analyzer a couple minutes to adjust. We can now make an adjustment if need be. To adjust this boiler using a T15 Torx, it's clockwise to increase and counterclockwise to decrease, making very minute adjustments, no more than an eighth to a sixteenth at a time. Now that we've made an adjustment in low fire, the range for CO2 is 8 to 10 percent. I like to get it in the middle at 9 percent. After making adjustment in low fire, you always want to check high fire one more time. To do so, dip switch 7 to the off position, dip switch 6 back to the on position. Remember we're going to be patient with our analyzer, allowing the analyzer to get an accurate reading. Now that we're in high fire, our analyzer's had time to get a reading, we can see that we are in range. If for some reason you're having a drop in CO2 on high fire, for example, if it drops lower than your low fire CO2 value, check your incoming gas pressure. Make sure there's no more than a two inch drop. Also, if you're having a hard time getting changes in your combustion, chances are you may have something clogged in your burn. Now that our combustion is in range on both low and high fire, we're gonna put the boiler back into normal operation by dip switch number six to the off position. Going to remove the call for heat and the boiler will go into post purge. Now that I've removed my manometer, my combustion analyzer, I want to make sure the tapping on the gas valve is closed. Insert the cap onto the adjustment screw. And insert the plug back into the exhaust. Notice there's a gasket there. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at 1-800-900-9276. Thank you.